Welcome back guys, this is Travis here with Fish and Hex. Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick update on the quarantine tank, the acrylic tops that I made the other day. I will post a link to that video in the description below so you can check out the whole reasoning behind it. But basically guys, uh, they are working great. Uh, the water is forming at the top, coming to the center, and then dripping back into the section as intended. And um, I don't have to worry about water transferring between sections and you know losing more fish. Now, unfortunately it took uh, three fish to die before I figured it out, but I'm glad that I did. At least for future quarantine, we have it under wraps now so as for this uh, for individual sections here the left section is going to be empty uh, until the uh, everybody's out of this quarantine system and then I can do a thorough cleaning break it down and then pretty much start over uh, the middle section there has the Melanoris wrasse and the two pipe fish they are at 1.025 salinity and they have a uh, half dose of copper and the reason why I didn't do the full dose is those pipe fish are very sensitive to copper and I don't want to lose them they've already been in quarantine for four weeks they're wild caught the fact that they're still alive now I just don't want to push it. So a half dose is fine. I didn't see any external parasites on them in the first place, but there is still that unknown reason why that unicorn die, unicorn tang died in that uh, that section. So we're just going to do a half dose of copper and keep them in quarantine for another couple weeks, uh, at least to uh, you know see what's going on with them. As for the uh, rice section with the sailfin tang, good old boy's been in there for eight and a half nine weeks now, so uh, he's he's ready to come out. But unfortunately. He's in hyposalinity because he ended up getting black ick. Again, I will post that video soon so you can see how I took care of all that. And um, he is at the full dose of copper right now. And he's gonna be in there for about two and a half, three weeks. Then we'll, we will uh, uh, put some carbon on the system, get some of the copper out, do a nice water change, and then we will slowly bring the salinity up to 1.025. He will then sit in quarantine for another week. And then uh, if all goes well, he'll go into the this place. So he's got a long road. He's already gone a long time, so he's just got a little bit left to go uh, before he's he's out of his uh, long extended quarantine, just like the hippo tang was. But uh, this is the only way you can ensure that he's not going going to infect the main display and that he is going to be healthy. So it is what it is. Now, as for the tanks in the uh, frag system, they are all doing pretty good. They're eating like horses. Uh, there's a little bit of aggression between the yellow tang, kind of beating up the nasal tang a little bit, but there isn't any marks and uh, there's no missing fins or anything like that. I think it's just normal tang aggression. They're just ass beating each other, whatever you want to call it, tin, uh, tail lashing. But uh, they seem to be doing well. They're picking up the uh, algae around the corals and stuff like that. And um, I'm happy with them so far. I'm not going to do anything with them, but keep them in that system and let them be in there for four to five weeks, see how they're doing. If, uh, if I see anything or notice anything, they will go into uh, this quarantine system once it is completely cleaned out and sterilized. They will go into the system if they have to and then continue their quarantine process. But right now they're good, so I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed and, and hope that everybody's doing well and then they, they can go into the main display without any issues. But other than that, guys, uh, I'm happy that I didn't lose any more fish. I'm thankful that I figured out the problem, and uh, we're just going to move forward, as you should in this hobby, and uh, see what's coming up. So I appreciate you sticking uh, through this video and uh, listening to me ramble about the update. And uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below, or you can contact me directly. Either way, I'll see you guys. Peace.